Ants. What time is it? It's the 2,221st Howdy Doody Show, starring Howdy Doody and Buffalo Bob Smith. Well, howdy, boys and girls. Howdy! Hey! And let me just hear a howdy from the brownies. Howdy, brownies! Hey! Where are the brownies from today, honey? Stand up. Garden City. From Garden City. Well, nice to have you here with us. Well, you know, boys and girls, today is a big day for us because I'm expecting a little present. Now, this is the lovely month of May, and in May, I always receive a gift. A gift from a king. Do you know who the king is? His name is King Yodstick. That's right, King Yodstick. He's a ruler. <laughs> you see? And he is from the country of Tibet, a little town called Early. Early Tibet. And King Yardstick, the ruler from early Tibet, well, uh, I once did a favor for him, and every year since, in May, he always sends me a little present. Oh, Abanga, and here it is. Chiefy, you don't hear your present from King Yardstick. That's Let's, a ruler, you know. Yeah, I know. Let's see what he... From early oh, Tibet. How about Ooh. that, huh? How about... Bow, boys Bow, and girls. Bonga, you will hold the box. And Isn't I'll that pie? Beautiful, How about beautiful that? cream Remember, pie? Let's eat it right now, Bubba. No, well, look, let's not eat it right now, Chief. Let's wait a little while. We can all have some. Oh, here, no, okay? Calabunga, I can't wait. Oh, my mouth watering. Well, it does look very good. I. Oh, Clarabelle! Oh, You know what Clarabelle thinks he is? She's an airplane. Oh, you silly We're going to do those, uh, those Emmelman, see that? Oh, Calabunga, I want to eat the pie. Come yeah, well, I'll wait, wait, yeah. just a minute. Look, I, it, look, Chief, he's going into a power dive. Oh, Clarabelle, yeah. pull it out of the power dive. Oh. Pull it out of... Oh. Yeah. That's my gift from Clara. You're here, Chief. You! 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 Oh. Uh, you! Uh, <laughs> Oh, that Indian. There goes my lovely gift from... Well, anyway, kids, it's nice to know that King Yachtstick still remembered me, isn't it? Oh, but uh, I wonder if by any chance you boys and girls would happen to know why Clarabelle was imitating an airplane. Actually, once, kids, we did have an airplane here in Dutyville. And the airplane had something to do with King Yachtstick, the ruler from early Tibet. Now, I'll tell you the whole thing from the beginning. This all started when a cablegram came for me... From the far off land of early Tibet. Oh, how's my omelet coming along, Buffalo Bob? Well, I just put the eggs in the pan, howdy. Okay, thanks, Buffalo Bob. Uh, oh, hi, Clarabelle. Well, what's that? Well, it, it looks like a cablegram for Buffalo Bob. Oh, boy, important. I, I better call him. Oh, Buffalo Bob, Buffalo Bob. Oh, yeah, howdy, boy. What is it? What do you got there, Clarabelle? Cablegram? I wonder where it's from. Tibet. Place called Early Tibet. Never heard of that. Let's see who it's from here. Well, it's addressed to Buffalo Bob, Dutyville, USA. Uh, can use your my country. Could you fly here immediately? Signed, King Yodstick. Ruler of early Ooh, Tibet. Gee, Buffalo Bob, are you going to go? I don't think so, Howdy. Never heard of any King Yodstick. Never even heard of early. Early Tibet. I think this is just some joke somebody's playing. I'm not going. Clarabelle, do me a favor. Take a letter. Better still take a cablegram, please. Uh, send a cablegram back to King Yodstick and say I'm sorry I will not leave duty to you. Hey, wait a minute, buddy. Yeah? Do you think that... This might be one of Mr. Bluster's tricks. Could be, Howdy. You know, Phineas has been trying to get me out of Dutyville for a long time. But I wouldn't accuse of Phineas anything just yet, Howdy. Anyway, look, nobody is going to make me leave Dutyville and my pal Howdy Doody. Howdy, boy, you and I are just like two fried eggs. Eggs. Howdy, I almost forgot about your order of eggs. They're probably burned to a crisp out there. Oh, that's okay, Buffalo Bob. I'll come back later. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tend to the eggs. Yes, boys and girls.
Charles, I sent my answer to King Yardstick. And I told the King Yardstick, the ruler, that I could not possibly come to his country, early Tibet. And we forgot all about it. And then, kids, about three weeks later, a very, very strange-looking man came here to Dutyville. Hey, hey, who are you? I mean, wait, 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 what are you doing there? Come on, don't stand there. Speak up. Who are you? How do you do? I am Mr. Wong. I work for Aviation Clubs of World. Uh, you mean airplane? That is right. Try to encourage more people to fly on planes. So we sponsor contest. Winner of contest receive this airplane as prize. Ooh, a, a free airplane. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to enter that contest. Uh, 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 tell me, uh, what do I have to do? Very simple. You just make up last line to a little poem on bottom of placard. Best line win airplane. Hey, what's this all about here? Who's your oh, friend, Phineas? Uh, 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 I'd like you to meet my friend, Mr. Wong. Uh, oh. uh, Mr. Wong is running a contest. I mean, uh, uh, well, it's just a little contest. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't be interested, I know. Well, maybe <laughs> I would be interested. Now, wait a minute. What is the contest, Mr. Wong? Ah, best line, last line for poem, win airplane and win free flying lessons. Free flying lessons? Good day to you, gentlemen. Well, good day. Strange-looking fellow, isn't he? Well, let's see. Let me see here, Finish. The traffic on Earth is a pain. To avoid it, go up in a plane. All you'll hear is a hum, and you'll get away from... Da-da-da-da-da-da-dum. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You'll what? never win with that last line. What last da, line? da 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 I mean, Oh, that. silly, that's not my last line. I was just scanning the meter, sort of an iambic pentameter. It wasn't my last line, well, I just... It might just as well be your last line, Bobby. Oh. Because I'm going to win that airplane with the most brilliant, clever last line you ever heard. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Well, let's see what kind of a last line we can make up here. Now, let me see. Uh, the traffic on Earth is a pain. To avoid it, go up in a plane. All you'll hear is a hum, and you'll get away from... All the noises that drive you insane. All the noises. Pretty good. Might even win, huh? Not bad. And you'll get away from... Um... The snow and the slush and the rain. Hey, boy, that's pretty good. Oh, boy, I might win with that. Oh, and would I ever love to get that airplane. Okay, and you'll get away from the bus and the car and the train. How do you like it? <laughs> huh? Hey, what last line did you write, Clarabelle? <laughs> what, you know anybody? <laughs> well, good luck. Hey, the best last line win. Oh, and here's a hum, and you'll get away from... Oh, yeah, uh, Buffalo Blip. Hey, Blippy. Yeah, Flop. Come what? here, Blippy. Where are you, Flop? Behind here, Flop. Oh. Be, be careful now. Oh, hi, Flop. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, Buffalo Blip, you, you want to hear my last line to that poem? Yeah, I have one, too. Go ahead. Let me hear yours. All right, here's mine. <clears throat> you know the last line. Yeah, yeah, sure. All you'll hear is a hum, yeah. and you'll get away from no. the dog that was chasing the cat. Then it started to chase me, and I ran into the doorway. Love doorway. That's silly. Doorway. It doesn't rhyme with plane. Well, just a minute. You didn't give me a chance to finish yet. Oh. It finishes like this. To get out of the rain. Oh. Well, rain rhymes with plane. Yeah, but uh, don't you a little long? Well, this was a long dog. Oh. You know, one of them low, long German dogs, a dasher. Not dasher, Club. It's a dachshund. Oh, uh, do oh, yeah, what you said. Well, anyway, Dox thanks a lot for helping me, Blip. I'm yeah. going to send this in, boy. I'll Come on, Club. I'll see Bye. you. Bye. Boy, Clarabelle, I can hardly wait. Just think, an airplane. Oh, but, oh, look, oh, look, here he comes now. 
Uh, say, when are you going to pick the winner, Mr. Wong? In just a few minutes, we pick the winner. I see some other contestants approaching. Oh, I, uh, all set to announce the winners, Mr. Wong. Huh? Yes, indeed, we are. We are ready. Fine. All right. Well, let's all go. right. Hold, hold, I... hold on there. Uh, wait for me. No, oh. I've got the winning line right here. We shall see. Uh, don't hang on to it if you want to give it all. All right. Silly. Here is what Mr. Bluster wrote. Get away from all pioneers who give you a pain. I guess you mean me, Mr. Bluster. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. Oh. I think that should win. I am afraid not, because another has won. Another? The winner is... Mr. Clarabelle Hornblow. Cla and here is winning line he wrote. Clarabelle? The traffic in to avoid it, go up in a plane. All you'll hear is a hum, and you'll get away from honk, 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 honk. What? Honk, honk, honk. Well, that's the winner. I mean, right, 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 that doesn't mean anything. Honk, yes, it honk. means something. In what? fact, it is very original. It means when you go up in a plane, you get away from traffic noises and honk, honk, honk of noises of automobiles honk, honk. and buses. Clarabelle wins the plane. Oh, well. It will be here next week, and an instructor will be here, too, to teach Clarabelle to fly plane. Oh. Thank you, and congratulations. Well, Mr. yeah, Long congratulations, Clarabelle. It was fine. Well, I'm so glad the contest was a success. Oh, oh, oh I've been robbed. Oh, it was a frame-up. Oh, they can't do this to Phineas T. Bluster. Oh, somebody's gonna be sorry about this. Boys and girls, to tell you the truth, it was a big surprise to all of us. But everybody was very happy, of course. Bell had won the airplane. That is, of course, everybody except Mr. Bluster. Now, Mr. Bluster, because Clarabelle had won that airplane, he was determined to get revenge. And you know what he did? Well, I'll tell you later. But right now, kids. Oh, it's I... a silly sort of a silly sort of a silly 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 Kids, look who's here. It's our old friend. That's right, Buffalo Bob. It's me, John Jane for those a lot. Hiya, Buffalo Bob. Number one. Private on. Ah, nice to see you again, Inspector. Come on. How are you, Dilly boy? Oh, fine, Buffalo Bob. See, what's that song you two fellows are singing here? Oh, it's just the silly sort of a song, Bob. Yeah. Hey, come on, Inspector. Let's sing it. Come on, let's sing it for you. It's a silly sort of a dilly sort of a dilly terrelly sort of a kind of silly billy sort of a song. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty sort of a witty sort of an itty witty, a ditty sort of a kind of witty, a ditty kind of a song. It doesn't make much sense to me, at least it's Thank you very much, Inspector, and Dilly, and... Whom do we have here? Well, it's our little buddy. Hi, Kokomo. What do you have here? Let me see. Oh, it says Kokomo Jr. Well, that's fine. You better put that back on your wrist, because we wouldn't want to confuse you with Clarabelle. See, we'll know that you're you, because yours says Kokomo. What do you have here, Cookie? Oh. Oh, don't eat pride. You see what this is? This is a little fishing game. Now here. You take the pole. That a boy. Now watch, we're gonna fish, Coco. Now watch. You take the take the pole like this. And you go here and you and you come up with a fish. Every time. Let's try it again now. Oh, I came up with a double header. You're not laughing today, Kokomo. You're not laughing. Laugh, go. <laughs> Come on, laugh, go. <laughs> ah. Kokomo, laugh, go. <laughs> oh, come on. 
<laughs> Kokomo Gold. <laughs> well, here. Wipe this smile off your face. Wipe it off. Yeah. All right, now, look. Now, this Kokomo, this is a fishing... Don't eat the pole. Put the pole down. Now, look. You see? Now, these... And the... You're not paying attention. Oh. Okay, he's got a girlfriend in the peanut gallery. And you see, these are little fish. There is a pickerel. And that... Now, what you do, you see, here, take the pole. Eat the pole, that's the way. Now, don't eat the pole. Here, fish. Take the fish pole like this. Now, hang on to it. Here. Go, go get a fish. See if you can get a fish. Oh, you got two with one hook. Oops. All right. There, how about that? Now, you see, all these fish have little numbers on. And... You're not paying attention. I have little numbers. And then uh, you kids can have little fishing contests. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with them. Hey, did you eat the hook? We caught a Kokomo. Hey, buddy. Come here. Where's the hook? There's the hook. Okay. Now, you see, kids, do you, any of your kids ever go fishing? Yeah. Huh? Some of you had, some of you haven't. Well, Kokomo, because Kokomo's been here with us today, he's going to make sure that all you boys and girls can go fishing with him any time that you want to go. Is that right, Kokomo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? Okay? Huh? Okay? All right. Kids, Kokomo, nice to have you with us. And you say... Well, don't you clap. The boys and girls should clap. All right, let's all clap. Everybody. Yeah, that's my baby. Whoa, baby. All right, and Kokomo says we have a little fishing game for every one of you boys and girls. All right? Yeah, Buffalo Bobsy. Uh, Buffalo Bobsy, will you please step over this way, please? Oh, uh, yes, yes, Mr. Buster. What is it, Phineas? You know, the words to that song we sang before, you know, the, the words say, when you're feeling low, you just sing and you feel happy, right? That's right, Mr. Buster. Singing always makes everybody feel happy. You, well, maybe I'm just a little bit harder to please than most people, but the only happy... Yeah. is a nice package of two big Hostess Snowball Well, <laughs> Say, now, Mr. Buster, that's another matter. Hostess Snowballs make everybody happy. Boys and girls, I sincerely hope that all you kids have tried Hostess Snowballs. Now, look here, kids, and you'll see that Hostess Snowballs come two in a package, two big ones. And say, let me show you here. Now, on top of each Hostess Snowball, there are hundreds of little wee coconuts. And then, underneath that coconut, there's a thick layer of marshmallow. And the inside is rich devil's food cake. And say, here's the surprise I told you about. The center is cream filled. So, boys and girls, you tell mom about this most wonderful dessert. Hostess snowballs. And on a real hot day, mom might keep some in the refrigerator and serve them cold. Mm, boy, they taste delicious that way, too. Ask mom to look for the special hostess cake display like this one. Right on the display, there's a picture of a red heart side, just like the package. Kids, now we're going to get back to our story. You know, on the following week, Bell received his airplane. It arrived here in Dutyville. And, of course, as another part of the bargain, Clarabelle received flying lessons. And do you know something? We were all amazed at how quickly Clarabelle had learned to fly. Boy, oh boy, and look at him go. Boy, he, he flies like a bird. Flies just like a chicken. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bushy, you're just jealous because you didn't win the contest. Oh, wait a minute. Here I go, clown. Oh, 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 that silly clown. I'm going to pass a law against flying planes. You can't do that, Mr. Buster. You know, the air is free. Hey, fellas, look at that Clarabelle. Go! What a surprise. Who in the world would have ever thought that he could learn that so quickly? Look at him now, boys. Coming down for a landing. Hey. Boy, did you see that? A perfect three-point land. How do you like boy, it? Boy, oh boy, he's good. He is. Yeah, he's good. Right. right. Good for nothing. Oh. oh, Phineas, why don't you get off of it? Forget it, will you please? You're just jealous you didn't win the plane. Now, be nice to Clarabella, and maybe he'll take you up for a ride. What? <laughs> Me go up in that crate? crate? Not on your life. I mean, not on my... Oh, that's absolutely ridiculous. Clarabelle, buddy, we watched you land that craft, and believe me, you're sensational. You were great. I have never seen anyone take to flying like clown. Oh, really? He fly like professional pilot. Gosh, oh, yeah. You mean that he can take the plane up himself now, Mr. Wong? Yes, it is perfectly safe. 
Clara Barrett can fly anywhere in world. Oh, you're wonderful, what? Huh? Oh, you'd like to have Howdy and me go with you? Well, I'd love it. How about you, Howdy? Oh, boy, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Yeah. Bob, count me out. Oh. Well, I must say goodbye to all. I must leave duty very Yeah, but well, good riddance. And don't come oh. back with any more of your phony contest. No, don't pay any attention to him, Mr. Wong. It was certainly nice to have met you. Thank you very much. Ah, great. I'm sure we will see each other again. Oh, well, fine. Well, well I thank you very much. your airplane ride. Yeah. And you'd better take your parachute. Don't you worry. Come on, howdy boy. Clarabelle, okay, come on. You like this? Let's go, howdy. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. You know, I, I just love airplanes. Well, so do I. Let's get it. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait a minute, Clara. Come here, come here. Look, I've got a terrific deal for you. Now, how would you your plane for my two... Now, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, I've got a brand new horn on my bike. Oh, it's a beauty. I mean, Clara, now, wait a minute. Clara, I've got a... Oh, all right. He'll be sorry. They'll all be sorry. <laughs> Boy, howdy, this is a great plane, isn't it, huh? Hey, hey where's Clarabelle, Buffalo Bob? Boy, I'm anxious to get started. Well, I... Oh, here he comes. And look, he looks like a real pilot, doesn't he? Hi, Clarabelle, old buddy. We're all set, kids. Ah. Uh... Here we go, Buffalo Bob. the engines. Did you see it? Pretty good. Well, where's he gonna take it, Bob? Oh, we're just going to Clown Town and back. That's all. Ah, uh, that's well, a lovely. We've been flying for hours. I wonder, uh, how long does it take to get to Clown Town? Howdy, you're right. Wait a minute. Howdy, we're crossing mountains. There's no mountains between Dutyville and Clown Town. Hey, Clarabelle, where are you taking us, buddy? Hey, he's not answering, Buffalo Bob. Well, I'm going to go up there and talk to that silly. Now, this is no time to be playing tricks on us. Wait a minute. Hey, come on, Clarabelle, buddy. This is no time for jokes. Now turn the plane around and take... Hey, Clarabelle, what's wrong, buddy? Clarabelle, are you lost? <gasps> I am not lost, Buffalo Bob. Mr. Wong? Yes. Well, what are you doing here? Where's Clarabelle? Clarabelle is the hole. Do not worry. He is safe, and you will be safe, too, as long as you behave yourself. Oh, where are you taking us? I am subject of King Yardstick. He sent for you, but you refused to come willingly. Now I am afraid you have to come too early. Be seated, please. <laughs> Boys and girls, whether we liked it or not, Howdy, Clarabelle, and I were on our way to Tibet. Early Tibet. To see King Yodstick, the ruler. Yes, kids, we were heading into the most exciting, spine-tingling adventure we'd ever experienced. But I'm afraid the rest of the story, kids, will have to wait until next week. But right now... Right now, here is a mighty spine-tingling adventure that doesn't have to wait. Kids, it's a delicious sandwich. Yes, and you can enjoy one any time, right now, matter of fact. Yeah, just a minute there, my Bob. Oh, yes, Phineas. You tell me tingling about a sandwich. Oh, well, now, hold on, Phineas. This is not just an ordinary sandwich. No, this is a Wonder Bread sandwich. Oh, oh well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> now I get it. 
<laughs> Certainly everybody knows that Wonder Bread has a real exciting flavor. Uh, <laughs> and it helps you grow, too. You're so right, Phineas. You know, boys and girls, Wonder Bread does help you grow. Yes, kids, Wonder Bread helps build good, strong bones, sturdy muscles. And it helps give you plenty of energy, too. In fact, kids, Wonder Bread helps build strong bodies 12 ways. Yes, and Wonder Bread is just great when it comes to helping you kids grow up big and strong. And say, I almost forgot to tell you that Wonder Bread really tastes delicious, too. You know, Wonder Bread makes the best toast and the most delicious sandwiches you ever ate. It's perfect any time you want really delicious bread. So, kids, you ask Mom right now to start getting delicious Wonder Bread today and every day. You just ask her to look for the bread, yellow and blue balloons printed on the wrapper. That's Wonder Bread, the bread that helps build strong bodies 12 ways. And now, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye, goodbye until next Saturday, when we'll all be with you. Now, don't forget, boys and girls, next week we're going to continue the exciting adventures. Now, uh... Where were we going? Does anybody know? To what country? Tibet. T Tibet. Early Tibet. Well, what's the city? Early. Early Tibet. And what was the ruler's name? King? King Yardstick. That's right. In the land of early Tibet. Great mystery, great danger. Be with us next week, kids. And now, stay tuned for Rough and Ready Next on NBC. So, sing it, howdy boy. And kids. Now, when you hear the church bells ringing this weekend, well, that's to remind you to enjoy our country's great, great freedom, where you wish, any time, any place. And so for Howdy and me... You tell Mom that you'd like to go to Sunday school, right? Or to your place of worship. Okay. Bye, kids. Bye. See you next Saturday.